so coming to the windows uh, there are three options you have this is a newly added uh, quality updates uh, this is a, a feature update and win windows updates link so let's actually talk on a windows update link windows update links are nothing but a patching how do you patch what to patch uh, whether do you want to know upgrade even build also that is actually coming under windows update updates updates links. links meaning every month maybe second tuesday if they release i want to do it from a wednesday second wednesday or i want to reboot maybe x time x days after that only to apply or maybe current build is 1909 example i want to upgrade to 20 h2 can i that is actually covered under here in other way simply i'm telling patching plus feature update patching plus feature update along with the schedule and downtime and restart notification everything everything related to patching and upgrade is part of windows update ring so meaning if you know this windows patching is done let's do got it let's go here try to configure easy steps this you you don't actually lose anywhere so i'm just going to configure windows 10 uh and uh, monthly patching okay so here the channel you need to select definitely it's a semi-annual or the one so after 1903 this has been um, uh, this is the only one is available uh, pre to uh, 1809 and below this is the one but from here on this is the one we normally use you know right these are the you know not uh, tested generally available bills so don't use this always go for production semi-annual okay now another breakthrough i told you one breakthrough if you remember earlier right now another breakthrough is this option this is I also was... released in the month of may so oh, okay. this is a second second breakthrough so even if you try to deploy windows update sorry uh, your autopilot actually you're going to break through is what that, uh, active directory they added that one right group First policies breakthrough? group policies group policy. right yeah. so this is a bigger breakthrough for operating system deployment side so when you say windows drivers actually in the back end they are actually integrated and tightly have a partnership with lenovo hp intel Dell these vendors okay for the driver library they are gonna actually gonna search and they are gonna offer you mm -hmm. real drivers so earlier we used to get it actually a windows drivers normally windows generic drivers but now it's not the case it's actually coming from a driver's library okay so got it mm -hmm. you can also update uh, drivers um, meaning today I build this machine and tomorrow I get a new security nvda vulnerability fix i just actually get it as part of my windows update i don't need to worry about it easy right so these things now quality updates you know right what is quality update so if you remember last four years back or maybe three and a half years back so we used to get multiple patches and we need to select and we need to go with our CISO to find out what KB is compatible, what KB is not applicable. And then he gives out of 30, maybe 10 patches or five patches. And we used to you know, push them. But critical you know, patches, you might say. Yeah, critical or hot fix, whatever. Now it's every, I mean, earlier you used to you know, get it maybe 10 to 15 different patches. Now it's just the one patch single patch is available it contains all of these bundle that's called cumulative with the quality updates so here these things all the patches are inside one single build let's say if i skipped on a fib month but i patched on a march or maybe i i skipped even fib and march but i try to patch on april meaning uh this single patch this quality update of the single cumulative patch is fixes these previous fixes also mm. so it's it's easy now okay so th this background you should know it actually if you don't know it's a difficult okay so we know that now so that's why I, I wanted to explain so single patch it contains everything why i'm talking all this next 15 minutes you you're gonna understand so when you're gonna uh, get the uh, quality updates 
let's say this second Tuesday Microsoft gonna release an 8th you want to defer for two days till 10th so I can give here two days meaning from month or uh, that's a not the second Tuesday I'm talking about second Thursday it's gonna apply or maybe 15 days I don't want to take risk or maybe I'm more secure and I'm more concerned about the security than straight. No, the if it day. is critical, it will be two days. If it is medium, it will be so here. Here, everything is simple, simple cumulative. There's no critical. There's nothing. One nothing. critical. Okay. Yeah, you don't have a KB selection, mm -hmm. which you used to do it in the past. Got it. Okay, single patch. Either it's a quality or a feature. You tell only decide any of them. Okay, in this case, it's a quality. Means every monthly patch. What is a uh, feature? feature Eighteen oh nine to yeah. uh, one bill to another bill. Say, let's say I don't want to go on immediate bills. Definitely, I want to wait for thirty days when Microsoft released. So I can choose that. Okay. Okay. Feature means what? The build image. Every month. Yeah. Nineteen oh nine twenty H two. Exactly. That's a build image. Okay. okay. So here you don't have an option for a hey, go for 20 H. Hey, don't uh, go for 21 H1. You don't have an option. You simply have an option different time. 30 days max different later point. Go ahead. Simple. Now, uh, but I found that there's something wrong. After 30 days, I installed on 31st day. I found that there's a problem. Yes, you can uninstall starting from the same day to two months. So I can say I can allow them to uninstall up to 30 days or 10 days. I can do that. So if you understand these two things here, mm -hmm. I'll move to the schedule. Okay, now schedule has a lot of options. Okay, a lot of options. But if you know, uh, look at what is this option? These are all options about just talks about when to patch to be start, when to end. Do you want to you know give any notification for reboot to the end user, or you want to you know, agree for a specific day and time or month or week for patching, mm -hmm. or don't do anything. Just follow whatever it was configured with the Windows 10 default. Okay. So these okay. are the settings. So let's see, you know, few options, my friend. Let's say I want to, you know, or to install at a maintenance window. What's the maintenance window? My users works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So the rest of the time is a maintenance window. It will check for the reboot and it does all the updates and uh, it does that notification. You want to, you know, uh, you require any approval, all of that stuff for the end users. You can do it. And how many times you want to, you know, or remind the end user you can do for example i want every two hours number of times to restart before you can give remind us period to the required auto restart maybe within 15 minutes before i'm going to give a final reminder okay i can do okay. these changes or uh, if you just explore here uh, it would be great like you know auto install and restart at maintenance time okay this is just the install only this is restart restart at a scheduled time when I say scheduled time uh, things will change so you're going to installing and restarting when a user is not there that is every week or every first week a third week let's say patches release in the second week of the month okay any day mm -hmm. I want my patches should be you know deployed on a Friday around you know 5 p.m. or 4 p.m. so that the users will uh, start logging off by the time it gets patched it gets restarted later point what if but if that's the case what if, if the user uh, have to, mission will gets rebooted means if a user is working it's impacting but definitely it's going to impact so you need to plan properly okay and you need to you know, assign for what devices you're going to do that assignment maybe that's for asia pacific or maybe nine to six a batch or maybe a shift a shift b shift to c you group it uh, ad groups and assign it okay Got so it. you have all the options. Okay, so in my case, I'm going to actually do the auto install and restart After 5 p.m. Okay, any day Okay, is, now is there any possibility to give differ something like that? 
first term, yeah. second term. Like this that? is this is the required user approval to dismiss a restart notification. Oh, okay. okay. And th th these are already notification period is given. Okay, and we can also allow them to you know give the next level of deadline. Okay, so here deadline for the quality updates. This has Go to on. be installed so and so date. So these are the uh, things you can actually configure. So let's say here grace period is uh, seven. Auto reboot is deadline. Yes, next. Once you have done this, you can actually group it to the required AD groups. Everything is depends on the AD group. We've been working. Okay, yeah. Battery. Okay, so that's it. It's once you create it, what will happen? The policy will come up here. Okay, by this time actually it is already started. So I'll not consider this as a right test machine. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll start using another machine, but I just wanted to pull the policies and show you. So if you see here, um, is the policy it's not yet been assigned for this machine, but there's no uh, device admin specific policies, meaning MDM specific policies are not applied here. I'll show you uh, that in a minute how if it is applied. Okay, and uh, also from accounts, I'll just say sync up. Come on, accounts. Is this way they teach you in a uh, training Microsoft training? I think you you had attended some Microsoft training Microsoft actually the problem, you know, I mean, yeah, same thing labs uh, practical lab. They gave us uh, three machines. The problem is the same time the work and the training, you know, uh, since somebody will ping It's like, mm. you know, I'm not concentrated but much is, is, is the I mean the style of teaching is the same or is it better than me? Just wanted to know that I mean, it's like, I mean, uh, they gave like Same. completely practical, yeah, completely practical. Where they, I mean, we created oh, some Renbook. packages. Renbook they have given and they just yeah. took the next, next, next. Oh, next, it's next, a Renbook. Next, like that. Okay. So they gave the document, you just have to follow that. Yeah, simple, yeah. Okay. It's just like so, a lab guide, lab guide, but uh, unfortunately, we cannot download that. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. Mm. They gave three machines. Yeah, three machines. Okay. Yeah, it is it's completely lab. It's a complete lab environment. But the thing is like to replicate the same thing is a question. How to create is the same question. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I asked her the same question uh, I want to do uh, in my home. What I, what I supposed to do? She said that, sorry, we cannot do anything. Okay. So if you see here, uh, now I think, you know, I synced up. So view yes. configured updates are there now. Okay, yeah, so there are mm -hmm. some certain policies got applied which are coming from your MDM settings. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. notice right? You notice uh, there's uh, some additional settings view configured update policies are coming up. Okay, that's okay. And these things we can actually uh, ignore this test machine, we can test it another machine also, no problem. So now this is the Updates, but there's a question. There's a problem. If you notice, there's a huge problem. You didn't ask me. The problem Which is okay. mm -hmm. there's a bigger problem. Is I'm saying every month patching is fine, but the feature updates is different. Period is 30 days. After 30 days, what will happen? Let's say you have 19, uh, 1909. It will go mm -hmm. to after 30 days. There's a new release. Maybe let's take uh, 20. H2 is released example once 20 mm -hmm. H2 was released after 30 days exactly after 30 days it will upgrade by default it but, will upgrade okay yeah based on this value right but the problem is your applications were not tested by you on in 1909 that is what the question is uh, yeah that oh. is what the thing is like in my lab when we, before we do any right we'll do proper testing on all the apps we we will not give simply like this yeah, so now how do you restrict actually now today? Uh, even 21 H1 also came Right, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you know once the date is completed you it's not a good idea to you know pull or go, go ahead and you know Push it right because we didn't test it applications. So yep. that's a real-time problem Okay to address that what Microsoft has done is they come up with another setting Okay, you just have to configure this way only 
but there's just something called feature update okay you can see a baseline this is my baseline see baseline to only 20 h2 since microsoft released on may 8th or may 10th between 20 h1 i don't want to go ahead and 21 h1 because my application own has not tested it so i want to stick to only 20 h2 so i'll simply select here it will rest 20 there, h2 okay. that's it this is a global setting becomes so i can assign whatever the users the groups and then sorry uh internet connectivity issues oh again <laughs> Yeah, that's the internet connectivity issue, I'm sure. Uh, one minute, I will be yeah. unmuted for Then we can upload it. That's it. Yeah, Paul. So now uh, that's the option. So that's how you can actually restrict it build version. Okay. okay. Now Microsoft also come up with a, a Past uh, Deployment, let's say you might have maybe a, a 50k machines from a, which are managed with the single policy. You don't need multiple policy single policy is more than enough But before actually this to hit a few devices should actually go on a quicker mode and get it deployed because that can be as your actual yeah yeah pawn yeah so uh, you I was talking about yeah so you might be you know having multiple machines which are pushing from this policy but mm -hmm. definitely there should be some testing uh, should happen on your devices right for yep. that microsoft this month that's a may month actually this is june but you know may month mm -hmm. they released a new feature which actually talks about um, for example early patching devices schedule example uh, what you can do is you can you know define a specific date or let's say I want my devices should be patched by well this is uh, certain specific uh, day okay so if, if they are you know uh, running with the older version of Windows security updates let's say on a May month or fourth month or third month they becomes as the uh quicker way to you know get it you know deploy those patches you can't have you know the machines more vulnerable right and a fourth month third month machines so let's say i want you know fifth month specific they're gonna you know uh, become as the quicker way to you know deploy so that the latest patches get on a quick way for those machines you, you can deploy in that way so this explicitly helps uh, to get the more complaints for the last month maybe let's say your uh, you know falling your percentage is down for the last month then you know you can use these methods to you know, do it <laughs> 